heard the expression, if the hat fits, wear it, well, there's one lady that knows all about hats. Hi, Patrick. Laura. Well, I must say, like that hat? hat is a winner. It is, and I'm here at Ladies' Day with you, at Singapore Turf Club. <laughs> Let's go and check out the ladies and their hats. Just behind us. That's, that's stunning. That's what stunning. made you become a hat designer? When I came back from New York, there was no hat designers. Well, there was two or three, but in I was in Australia. Australia. In Australia, all in Sydney. In Sydney. Sydney. There's a few in Melbourne. This Sydney. is beautiful. That's lovely. Most people think that horse racing is all about picking a winner, but we ladies know it's really about choosing the right hat. This was the first ever ladies' hat day for the Singapore Turf Club, and I had no intention of appearing with anything less than a masterpiece on my head. Who to turn to? Isabella Clompe, of course. And then for the general racing meeting, we, they just have the general hats that they wear all the time. They wear. What's coming our summer is all flowers, very pale colours, very pretty hats, all lace, same as in Paris, all the lace dresses, all the loft, soft colours. So this is part of the, the look, flowers, Great. soft trends. Isabella is one of Australia's top milliners with a list of clients as long as this racetrack. I have a very good clientele base. Very impressive. Yeah, clientele. very good. So do you think you'll come into Asia? I'd like to, I'd like to. I've had the best time and the women are gorgeous. They are beautiful. Equipped with my crowning glory, it was off to check out the horses. And to size up the tough competition. Not on the track, honey, at the cocktail party. I think it's the excitement. I think it's the excitement of seeing these wonderful horses run. And, um... Good day's entertainment. And why did you pick, pick this particular hat today? It looks very sweet. Very yeah. sweet. Yeah. And have you made any bets on the races? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we, we have two winners. So two winners already. That's great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. It's lovely to, um, to see so many ladies come out with wonderful hats. The champagne was flowing faster than the bets, but the odds were climbing on who had the finest headgear. What I'm looking for, really, is a hat that matches the outfit. I think that's when a hat really works, is when it really works with the outfit that the, the person's wearing. So I'm looking for something that is a total look. How about you? Mm, I, I, my <laughs> no, I have a tendency to go the other way. I have a tendency to look what suits the woman. Okay. I mean, she could have, say, maybe a red outfit on and maybe pick a colour, a yellow or green hat. Uh, which red and green and yellow, it was a good combination. But if the proportion is right and it suits her, I mean, that it looks good on her, it's not out of proportion or, you know, that's what I'm That's what you're trying to find. Yeah, I look at an overall, well, you do too, but yeah. we all have our own image. Yeah, I'd look more at the proportion and yeah. the style and, and, you know, how she wears the hat. I think that's so important, how she wears that hat. Definitely, the confidence. The confidence. Yeah. I mean, that has, and that makes a hat. You know, there's a, of course, you yeah, have you a, carry yeah, on. You've got to have an attitude. The women do look lovely. And, and what, for me, is going to be tough is the colour. Because, you know, Australia, although we've got colour, we're not as strong as the colour as people are here. Proportion is very important. I mean, Asian women are shorter than, exactly. than um, European women. That's so right. proportion, the hat goes with the outfit, and it doesn't make them look um, silly. Hats are meant to have um, the final touch to the whole Finishing outfit. Touch, yeah. It's what so. we call the dot on the eye. And hats go in hand with the rest of the ensemble. Thank you very much for having me. I wanted to meet Victoria Morish, an industry insider who's helped train some of Australia's finest winners. 
And I think that women are now regarded as important people in racing. And uh, will you be back here again next year? Oh, absolutely. I'm hoping to come back for the opening of the, um, the new Singapore track. Victoria not only knows her horses, she knows her hats. The racing's fantastic. And what do you think of this event here in Singapore? I think it's fantastic and I think if they continue to sort of bring women to the races and make it a glamorous event, they'll do really well because men love to look at women. But I was talking to someone yesterday who said that he always gets distracted by women in racing and he hopes this isn't going to be a sort of thing that happens all the time because his punting, he thought today, would probably go off. I wasn't distracted. My final quest was clear. Who had the winning hat? Uh, okay, we will. Uh... I don't have it. I've taken it home. <laughs> you don't need it. Congratulations. Thank you. And how about... The final award, Singapore's Woman of the Year. Singapore. The chairman of a leading bank, Elizabeth Sam, took home the Singapore hat. Accepting the prize was a lot easier than receiving Isabella's kiss. Horse racing may be the sport of kings, but when it comes to hats, it's the queens who rule the day.